All right, bro. So what's up, guys? Your ball here in a back of the video, and today I'm showing you the best center build in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Okay, so this is my first video on Next Gen. Um, current has been a little bit dry, so you know I'm gonna switch over to Next Gen for a little bit, see how that is. Um, but yeah, today I'll be showing you the best center build in 2K22 Next Gen. Um, this can be good for you know rec, pro am, uh, threes, or well, I'm, I guess not really for threes, but twos, really good for twos. And it's good for the ones as well so yeah make sure stay tuned make sure like comment and subscribe because we're on the road to a thousand subs and yes right in this video so you want to go with the center for the position instead of power forward usually um you know you go power forward but this you know it's a true center so yeah center and you want to go seven foot for the height okay seven foot for the height and 239 pounds now as you can see if you go down like like if you go down to like six nine your speed only goes up to 71 and even if you decrease the the weight it only goes to 75 and you lose like all that stuff you lose defensive rebound from like putting down your weight so don't put down your weight like you know like this is sort of like you know you need a taller center this year if you know you want to actually um be competitive and stuff you know um you, you know if you don't want to get dogged out and stuff this is the this is the build you want to use so seven foot 239 pounds you want to go ahead with max wingspan here and then the body shape um you can't go burly if you're 239 pounds you can only um, unlock burly if you're 275 um so yeah body shape i'm gonna go with let's see i'm gonna go with built that's uh, the closest thing to burly so yeah these are the stats right here um 75 driving dunk 75 three um 99 interior defense 99 rebound except the thing is you cannot actually uh get this like you know um you cannot actually like get all these stats you can't get like 99 rebound i mean you can but you can't get like all these stats right here so yeah uh these are gonna be the stats for this build so finishing um your close shot you want to put that to 85 then max out the driving dunk and your standing dunk you want to put that to a 90 and then put your post control to a 91 um so yeah you'll get 26 finishing right here now the shooting max out the mid-range max out the three point then put your free throw to a 73 um yeah your playmaking max out your or not max out your pass accuracy put it to a 75 and that's all you need for your playmaking now the defense uh in your interior you want to go with 95 max the perimeter max out the lateral put your block um you want to put that to a 91 then uh put your offensive rebound to a 90 right here and then max out your defensive rebound to a 99 you get 35 defensive badges now the physicals you want to max out your speed max out the acceleration uh max out the strength then put your vertical you want to put that to a 75 right here or i guess you go 78 or 79 we only get 86 stamina um for me i'm gonna do this right here 79 vertical 86 stamina you do need a 75 vertical to get the elite big man contact dunks in this game so yeah you might as well go with that but yeah this is the build right here bro 26 finishing 21 shooting 10 playmaking and 35 defensive badges so yeah that's a total of i believe 91 badges for this build which is absolutely crazy um like any build in current gen can't even get 91 badges um so yeah this is a pretty crazy build and there is i don't think there's any plus four uh this year so like you know like in next gen um you can get the plus four like all your stats and stuff that's not in next gen so you won't get like 84 mid-range 79.3 like you would in current gen um these will basically just be your stats at max for your build so yeah the takeover um i mean bro you can literally get sharp take limitless range or spot precision um for me the first one i'll go with see the future and then the second one um you want to go with spot up precision but it's really a few way to put and yeah this build is called the versatile paint beast bro um shades of will chamberlain rudy gobert and yusuf nurka you know this is a good build when this is compared to uh will chamberlain um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and test the build uh get to 99 right here so yeah um now the finishing this does look a little bit different than the current gen i'm not gonna lie um but for me i'm gonna go back down punisher hall of fame and then let's see i'm gonna go limitless takeoff right here uh post spin on hall of fame um let's see uh oh posterizer on gold no not rise up posterizer and then we're gonna go with um drop stepper right here we have three uh, badge points left you could put it on whatever you want to be honest uh for me i mean let's see unstrippable i mean you could go unstrippable if you want to uh, i'm gonna go unstrippable and then we're gonna go with for the last one it can only be a bronze badge 
So, uh, let's see. I, I guess I'll just go with Rise Up. But it's really up to you what you put. Um, but yeah, so moving on to the shooting. Uh, now the shooting, you want blinders as high as possible. Um, and now Limitless Spot Up, you could have. You know, you could put on Limitless Spot Up if you want to. For me, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, you want Sniper on Hall of Fame. Um, obviously, you're going to want Hazo and Hari. You can only get that on uh, Silver for some reason. I don't know why. Um, actually, no, it's because you get a 75-3, so it's, like, not as high. Um, but, yeah. Uh, now, this, I'm going to go catch and shoot. Deadeye, Green Machine. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll go Corner Specialist right here. And then... I mean, I don't... It's really up to you what you put for these last three, to be honest. Um, I'll just put it on... Let's see. I'll put it on Difficult Shots right here. But it's really up to you what you put. So yeah, those are the badges right here uh, for the shooting. Now the playmaking, you only get 10, uh, but you can get floor general on bronze. So obviously you're gonna want that. Um, and you can also get dimer. Uh, you can get dimer as well. Uh, I mean, you could go post playmaker too if you want to. And then, let's see. Oh, bullet, bullet passer for sure. And then you want, um, let's see, I'm gonna go special delivery on bronze. And then break starter on bronze. So yeah, those are the playmaking right there. Now the defense. Um, the defense, you get 35 defensive badges right here. So uh, chase down artist right here. Um, interceptor. You want rebound chaser, obviously, on Hall of Fame. Worm on silver. And then we're going to go box on Hall of Fame. Intimidator on gold. I don't know why you can't really get Hall of Fame. Uh, rip protector. For some reason, you can only get it on gold. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, brick wall, and you want to go with uh, hustler, and you only get one badge point uh, left with this. So to be honest, I don't, I don't really know what to put it on. Um, but I'll put it on. Let's see. I'll put it on post lockdown. Or actually, no. I'll put it on pickpocket. Pickpocket uh, is right here. So yeah, and yeah, th that, those are the badges right there. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, let's get to uh, 1,000 subs. And this is airball. Peace.